welcome to the Rochester Estate. Out of respect for the departed and our performers, please silence all cell phones and refrain from flash photography during the performance. In case of emergency, please note the nearest emergency exits located at the back of the theater. Welcome to Wake the Dead. Stop crying, Lilith! 
Must you overact in life as well? As I was saying, before my immense wealth and power is awarded, there is one small matter which we must resolve. One of you four sitting here tonight murdered me. So, we are going to play a game. I like games. Tonight, we will reveal my killer. Each of you will plead your case, <coughs> and then this assembled jury will decide who killed me. Was it Lilith, Manson, Baby, or my brother Bud? Who? 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 You are the assembled jury. You hold the fate of one of these people in your hands. Are you ready to play? <laughs> then let's begin. As Kipling says, the female of the species is more deadly than the male. So, let's start with you. Mrs. Rochester, you requested to have this funeral at night. I'm not a morning person. You were married to my client for... 13 years. Now, Frederick Earl Anderson Rochester, my client, was not your only husband, was he? No. You've been married before. Repeatedly. How many husbands have you had? Mine or others? What happened to your last husband? He disappeared. Disappeared? That was his job. He was an illusionist. But he never reappeared. He wasn't very good at his job. And the others? What happened to them? Well, all right. You see, all men are alike. Stupid. Do you know how to save a drowning man? You take your boot off the back of his neck. He had it coming. He had it coming. He had it coming all along. I didn't do it. But if I did it, how could you tell me that I was wrong? She did it! She murdered Daddy! Get out of my face! Oh, 
Not so fast! Yes, she has strong motives, but so do the rest of you. Let's continue, shall we? On to the sun. Manson, you were my client's only child. You tried to start your own band called Meat. When that went rotten, you developed an interesting relationship with your stepmother. He loves me. I love her. Oh, God. <laughs> and what did your father think about that? When I was three years old, my father told me. Get out! Before that. <laughs> Disgusting. He said, Manson, don't trust me. Women, they'll only rip your heart out with a spoon, and then throw it on the floor, and then stomp on it with one of their hundred pairs of uncomfortable shoes, and then stick it in a blender and suck it to a straw like one great big six sexual smoothie. Oh, stop your sniveling. Straighten up and sit stop down. Stop telling me what to do! Yes. Everything to me. 
He was back in my upcoming album and a tour. Yeah, but then he changed. But I was still locked into my contract. I was caught in a trap and I couldn't get out. <clears throat> oh, but I would never hurt him. No, no, well, well now that he's gone, who will I turn to? <laughs> Holy sweet child of mine.
there are far worse things than death. Oh, yeah.